up guys, it's Goof here. Today we are gonna drive around uh Northern Isle Speedway, Suzuka and Dragon Trails in Sunday Cup at Gran Chismo Sports. So it's gotta be So yeah, we're driving uh Cherry Corvette uh, C2 uh, 1963 model and I especially choose this one because I love seeing American cars on uh, oval tracks and it was my first run here um, there's two more actually no sorry yeah three more there was three more runs as far as I remember in first run in this run I just keep the gear in fourth, then change it to third on corners because it will still hit the rev limiter. So I just decided to keep it on fourth gear. But it didn't change anything at all. Um, it just brings us this. Yes, a second place. Well, I think. We could have improve it better, you know, like a win would be better. So I decided to run it on third gear and not making it in four, always keeping it because track is so short. And well, it didn't work very well too. It was worse. A third place. So I decided that the Corvette wasn't po powerful enough for me and it wasn't light enough. So I just choose Greedy Fuju Z. It was handled like baby. It was so good, it was it was perfect. And that perfectness bring us something very good. But except for this moment, I nearly, nearly crashed, but somehow I managed to keep it in one place. I touched the wall there a bit, but it was still pretty good, I think. And take the lead, keep it on like that, and... I even nearly lapped someone and actually I think I lapped someone yeah I even lapped someone and win the race because car was handled like baby it was perfect so I decided that I think the problem was wait uh, for Corvette C2 so I just make it light as possible and well it did work very well so this is also another reason why formula one teams try to make their car as light as possible like removing the paint or always using stickers and well that move was <laughs> That overtake was my favorite, I think, for today. Anyways, what I was just saying, yeah, I was talking about Formula One, uh, about the weights in Formula One. Like, in this season, we see Williams going mostly black on their library, uh, even though it was completely dark blue at the beginning of the season, they removed most of the paint just because to make car lighter. Yes, paint does affect that much because there's lots of cords on it. They didn't make one layer and they also varnish it and other stuff makes car heavier. But Williams still struggles in Formula 1 because he also needs power and handling and also lots of other things. Like, such as a talented driver but at least 
they're trying to improve their self and I just take the lead there and keep it on like that it was a win a very nice one I really enjoyed it and it was an experimental race so moving on to Suzuka with my favorite car guess what Of course, a Miata and I love Suzuka and I also love Miatas, especially this Walther uh, Touring. This one, this one handles like baby, it's like greedy Fuji Z but even better. It was perfect for Suzuka. Just look at that, you know, it just keeps on line very well, you don't really have to wrestle with the car so much, and overtaking is much easier with a stable car, especially on Suzuka. And squeezing their true given enough room to Audi and going bumper to bumper well that's what I call racing up to four keeping it flat out to five down to four in turn one we are in second place so this is my overtake uh, for taking the lead. I just decided to go to outside, then he just closed the door, so change my line to inside line. I keep the momentum on, keep the car in one line, and boom, take the lead. And it was all like that, and then a great race win. We are now going to final race of the day Dragon Trails with Miata again and I think uh, it was a decent start the car was like bullets uh, on the straight lines and also it was it was like a water on the corners Always on the line, always perfect, and overtaking all the cars. But in this moment, uh, it was really hard for me to keep the car in one piece. I really thought that it would go for a spin, but then I just make it there and go bumper to bumper with those Ford in front and then it just lets me through and all I can just say is thank you for it and in this um, crazy breaking song just, just look at what I just tried to do Let's break down and <laughs> he's not so clever, isn't he? So the second lead was easier than I thought, and then into that chicane. Well, I was really curious about that chicane because I don't really want to make a mistake there, especially on the video just really horrifies me but after taking the lead well there is nothing much to talk about except for this moment which I just take the corner in the wrong gear in the lower one I should have taken in third but yeah as I just said there's nothing to talk not much about uh, it was another win and now Time for the daily rewards. 
which will decide the car that I will drive for the next Gran Turismo Sport episode and it is Audi R18 which is a Le Mans prototype yep that was all for today and it was really fun for me and I hope you guys enjoyed it too so if you want to see more Gran Turismo Sport videos in my channel uh, hit that like button and subscribe to me and hit that bell thank you so much for watching my video Goodbye.